Okay. Okay, let me introduce myself. I am Prema. I'm mother to uh, three children. And by profession, I'm an occupational therapist. For I'm been practicing as a therapist for past 32 years. Mm. Okay, I was introduced to laughter yoga by our great uh, mentor, Lee Jin, in year 2016. And in the year 2017, I joined the laughter leader workshop. After the workshop, I started to implement laughter yoga as a part of my treatment with my patients because I treat all kinds of disabled patients and disabilities eh, from slow, from child to elderly, everything. So I implement uh, laughter yoga as a part of my treatment and I got a very good feedback. They said they, uh, it really helps them uh, in sleep. Uh, it really, their, I mean, it reduces their stress. Um, it helps them to control their pain. And even for stroke patients, they say they improve their speech and they feel more energetic. energetic. This is what the patient say. But the true thing I like to share is my story. Okay. In year 2020, in February, I was, uh, it was a real challenge uh, to my life where I was diagnosed as a breast cancer, second stage. So, so the doctor advised me to go for surgery, chemo, radiotherapy, and homotherapy. So when I heard, as a human being, even I'm a therapist, when uh, as a human being, when I heard I was I had a cancer, I I feel the whole world was apart. I was very stressed. I was crying. I was depressed, and I was very very scared. What is going to happen to me? Am I going to come back normal? Am I going to be a disabled? Am I can be function? So many things were running in my brain. So I just lost control of myself. Then I realized why I didn't practice what I teach my patient, what I preach. I always tell my patient, laughter is a good stress release. Laughter can boost your immune system. Laughter is the best medicine. And the feedback I got from my patient, I can see my patient was improving very well. Then I was telling to myself, why not? I do. Why not? I apply this technique to myself. I, I need to rejuvenate myself. I need a new energy. So I use uh, laughter to, to heal myself because I believe this technique because I, I see my patients are improving very well. So I use <laughs> this technique for myself to give new energy, to give new life. And by practicing laughter, I find it bring out my inner strength and I, I find it is easy for me to practice. I can do it anywhere. So as what Lee Jin said, I doesn't need any tools, I doesn't need time, I doesn't need space. It's something that I can use, even there's so many techniques we can practice to relax our mind. But for me, I find laughter is the easiest way because I doesn't, I doesn't need any space. I can do it even night. Um, day sometimes because uh, as a patient as a cancer patient after chemo you go through a lot of um, emotion and physical problem uh, you feel your mood is down uh, by physically you feel very lethargy very pain so sometimes I can't uh, I need my time to do it so uh, with this laughter even on the bed I can practice uh, I used to sit in the balcony balcony uh, and I used to laugh every day without reason. Uh, I used to look at the cloud. I'd be laughing at the cloud. Just laugh without reason. When the cloud's moving, I point my finger and laugh. <laughs> then I look at the tree. When the wind is blowing at the tree, when the, uh, the leaves are shaking, then I used to do like child-like play. I dance and everything. And of course, my neighbors all look at me and give a glance and they were thinking, this, this girl is okay or not. This lady is okay or something. Or, but I don't care. Because I know they are there, whatever they are looking, they're not going to cure me. I need to bring up my inner strength. I put my heart, my all, my my everything, my whole be belief in this laughter. I know laughter can bring me out. So I don't care who are staring at me. I keep on day, day, every day. I practice 10 to 15 minutes uh, with my laughter. And my family member was amazed with me. They can see a lot of changes with me. Because people used to say chemotherapy can make me you down. But what my family members, my colleagues, my friends said, they didn't see much changes in me um, except for the physical. I become bored. <laughs> no hair. But 
physically, emotionally, I was still cheerful. I can still do a lot of things. In fact, uh, during my chemo journey, I continue my studies because I have the strength. I believe I have inner power in me. So what I like to say, this is not I'm making up the story. This is true. Things happened to me. So till now, I just completed my treatment in uh, whole thing. I mean, uh, my radiotherapy in uh, March this year. Just after a few months, you can see me. I'm still energetic and I'm doing a lot of things. So what I like to say is put your heart, belief in this laughter therapist. And before that, I like to say thank you to um, Johor Baru Happy and Joyous Club to introduce laughter to me and to guide me during my healing process, which they brought up a sunshine into my life. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you, Prema, for your wonderful sharing. And uh, Prema uh, is also a laughter ambassador, uh, conferred by the guru, Dr. Madan Kataria. And she's the first Malaysian laughing champion. We <laughs>